I mean, you can't even call this a DIY. It, it's too easy to be called a DIY. It's like, it's like a, uh. what's, how do you, how do you spell that? Uh. Oh man, I'm so happy you're here. Welcome to my channel. My name is Orly. This is the DIY Designer. Brand new videos every single week, every Sunday. DIY content, upcycling, style hacks, personal style development. That is what I'm all about. And today's video is so easy, I feel guilty calling it a DIY. The impact and the usability and the versatility, I had to share it. I was like, I have to share this because this is just too cool. So this came to me because we had a Barbie and Ken themed party at the kids' school. It was like a parent party, no kids allowed, but it was at the school. And so a lot of the pieces I was gonna wear felt like a little too like, mm for something at the school. So I knew I kind of wanted to be a little bit more casual. And then I remember I bought these pink bows to make this dress. My girl Erin Lim, I was obsessed with this dress. I have all the material. Why I never made it, who the hell knows. Um, but it's all been sitting in my craft closet and all of a sudden I was like, these bows are kind of perfect. And I safety pinned them to the shoulder of a bodysuit and to the booty of a pair of jeans. It was such a hit, it was so fun, it was so playful. And when I got home and I was unpinning them, I thought, man, this would be really fun like on the ankle of a boot or on like the toe of a heel or on a leather jacket or a belt. But obviously safety pins wouldn't work for that because it would damage the material and you couldn't, I mean, you couldn't even get it through a belt anyway. So I then had a genius idea, if I do say so myself. It's magic, it's literally magic, it works on anything, whatever you want. You don't have to do bows, whatever you want, onto whatever you want. Oh my God, I can't wait. Oh, and I wanna give you guys a custom DIY designer only discount code for the gold launch on Rock Knot. I've got a huge gold launch coming. I'm not putting any of this on sale because I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for all of these sparkling gold, beautiful goodies to arrive for fall, but I love you guys and I wanna thank you for always supporting me. And so I'm gonna put a discount code down below and it's launching on Tuesday, October 3rd. So if you're watching this on release day, which is Sunday, a couple of days, set a reminder. I will put the discount code below. This code will be active for one week. So only one week and then it shuts off automatically if you wanna get yourself some gold goodies. I cannot recommend it enough. It's so good for fall. It's like warm and sparkly. It looks amazing with olive green and deep moody colors and burgundies. Like it is just the right amount of moody warm sparkle and I'm obsessed. Let's get into this DIY. Uh, can't even call it that. I still don't feel right. All right, so materials, you need E6000, whatever you want to attach, and these magnets. I will link these below. These are so strong, they literally come with a warning label. They are super skinny, low profile, incredible, but very strong. You can see that I store them in bubble wrap so that I can use the tails to like pull them apart. Um, they are pretty big. You can see it's actually bigger than a quarter. And so on this bow, I'm like, shoot, it's actually too big. You're gonna see a little bit of the magnet from the front. Sure, I could sew this together, but I remembered that I had two broken pieces. And what happened is these were actually kind of close together. They magnetized to each other, crashed into each other and broke. That's how strong they are. So I'm gonna use the two broken pieces because they're almost like a half a magnet, which is gonna work perfectly. So I'm using my E6000 on the back of the bow. I'm putting it on the back side of the bow a good amount because you really need these to hold because again, these magnets are so strong. I'm gonna take the broken magnet. I'm gonna put one on the back of each. You just wanna pop it on the back, press it down and move it off to the side. In the back of my mind, I thought maybe there was a chance that the half magnet wasn't gonna be as strong because obviously it was half as big. Turns out I was wrong, it's plenty strong, but I tried this. Oh my God, see that? Oh, be careful. They're very strong. I tried this and I thought maybe I'll do one on each little flap of the bow and that will be doubly as strong. I really don't recommend it. Not only is it overkill, you don't need it, but it's so strong that the two little flaps of the bow find each other. Like they fold in half and sandwich in half because of how strong the magnet is. So really just do one magnet. It is plenty strong and it's really the best solution here. Now for this bow, I was gonna have a similar problem. The uh, magnet was larger than the bow. So what I did was I added glue to the entire magnet, added it to the back of the bow, just the same, and I grabbed one single flat back pearl and put it right in that little spot that's visible of my magnet. Not only does it match the rest of my applique perfectly so it looks like it's part of the design, but of course it hides the visible piece of the magnet. So you make sure to not see it from the top. I covered it from the bottom, let it dry for 24 hours, and boom. Ridiculous, right? 
ridiculous. I can't even call it a DIY. Okay. Um, I know I warned you a million times. They are very, very strong. Be very careful. Don't let kids do, do this. Do this for yourself because they're so strong. Okay, let's start with the inspo for this whole thing. It was this bodysuit and these bell bottoms. They felt very uh, Barbie movie-esque. Okay, so I'm gonna do the one that has the two for the pocket, um, just cause I feel like that probably makes more sense. So just gonna line it up. The magnet will find the other side of the magnet. Now, obviously if it pushes, you know, it's the wrong side. So just kind of like line it up. You're gonna feel it want to flip to get to the right side. I would do this not on so that you could make sure that they're perfectly centered. So hold it, grab the other side. It'll just find it. Suckers on. <laughs> I just can't get over how strong they are. It really is something else. Now, obviously this is not an outfit, like the combo of the bow on the shoulder and on the jeans is really not something I'd wear for everyday life. But just imagine the actual applique is entirely custom to your style. So these could be skulls, these could be flowers, these could be anything. So as you're seeing me use different placement, just imagine the versatility in whatever the actual applique is. It looks amazing on blazers. I used it as like a button to close it. I used it as something to put right on the cuff as like a little detail when I pushed up the sleeves. Super fun. This is actually one of my favorites. I rolled and did like a slouchy roll on the sleeve and normally I add a little pin to keep the roll exactly in place. But in this case, I use my magnetic bow to not only hold the slouchy roll perfectly, but to add this really cool little detail. This is such a fun detail that adds visual interest, a little design, a little style. This I think honestly was my favorite of all of them. I did like a muscle tee roll. So I did a huge exaggerated roll up on the shoulder. Something about the sort of juxtaposition between girly pink bows and a muscle tee and ripped up jeans was very much my style. So this is 100% a way that I would wear this exact applique. Now another thing is they don't need, it doesn't need to be on something thick. It can be on spaghetti straps, it can be on a dress. I tried that and didn't like it when it was down low. I thought it looked weird. And actually on this type of dress, what I would really recommend is almost like a big three-dimensional organza bow. Would be so cool, like a ruffle. This was strong enough to fit on a legit leather belt, by the way. Like, actual thick leather belt, it worked. This is gonna work on any shoe. If you have like a simple strappy sandal, this is an amazing way to make these look like a custom pair of shoes. You can pop it on any shoe, but because the bows are so big and the heels are clear, it literally looks like a brand new pair of heels. So you can put these on any, and they are strong. I tried to like kick them off <laughs> to see if when I was walking they would come off. No such luck, they are really strong. This is another one of my favorites. This is just like a tank bodysuit, and I love the placement of the bows. A little lower so that it's like right in the middle of the straps, but of course you could slide them up to the shoulder whatever you want, but you can see the two on the left there, I just think looks a lot cooler. Anywho, I did try this. This was where I basically took the bottom of my jeans and I created like a cuff and I used the magnetic uh, piece to hold it in place. Now this is what I'll say, it worked, but I, if I was actually wearing it like this, I would safety pin it to make sure the roll stays in place and then cover the safety pin with the bow. I just think that that would give me a little bit more security throughout the day because like triple layer of denim is kind of a lot for these magnets to hold. Um, even though they are super strong. Obviously, these shoes, the back of the heel, the front of the heel, the toe of a heel, these could go on any boots. These could go on thigh-high boots where the bow is right at your thigh. I mean, I really want you guys to think outside the box. And again, always imagine the applique that you will choose. So the aesthetic and the overall presentation is gonna entirely transform depending on what this actually is. But the functionality, I hope you're seeing really does add a lot of visual interest and it's so fun. All right, this is actually a blazer that I made. I hand sewed these appliques onto the shoulder. I wanted to test out what it would look like. So I added the white ones to a leather jacket. It's so cute. I mean, honestly, I, if I was doing this, like designing this, I would probably do something dark, black, maybe gold, um, but it works. Now, this is another one of my favorites. These colors don't match, so I would go and get a different bow, one that matches a little bit better. But this is a little set where that had like these ugly gold, I mean, um, brown buttons that just didn't work. So I removed the buttons and previously haven't really had any way of wearing it. By 
playing with the way that this fits and using the bow as a way to close it, it gives me so much versatility. Not only is it creating a whole new design element, which I think is so stinking cute, but it's closing it for me. It's a, an instant button that adds design. So I love this one and that's one of my favorites. I did want to try it on a hat. And for this one, I decided to use that double magnet one because the hat is so stiff that it's not gonna allow it to fold in half on me. So this was actually a really good way of wearing it. Again, this pink bow, I would not wear this exact bow on this hat, but I love the idea of adding a decorative element to a hat, whether that's like a fedora type hat or a baseball hat, you can put it on the front, on the side. I love this, like what if you did a messy bun going out the back of a baseball hat and then put a big like decorative element? So many options. I'm gonna call it a day. I think you get the idea. There is nothing that I tried to put this on that it did not too. All it takes is a magnet on one side, a magnet on the other, and boom, you have an instant brooch that doesn't damage your fabric, works on shoes, works on belts, hats, shirts, jackets, super fun. So I hope that you guys love this one. If this was your first video, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel, brand new DIYs and videos and styling tips every single week, and I'd love to have you. Um, okay, you guys, have a beautiful week, and make sure to check out rocknot.com for some of the gold goodies and uh, use the promo code so you guys can save. I love you. Mwah. Have a great week.